Warrior football spring camp rolled on this morning, taking the show on the road to the Valley Isles. Coach Mack and company hit up Wailuku's War Memorial Stadium. These pictures, courtesy of the Star Bulletin's Jam Aquino, Kaizen Green conducted the team's seventh practice of the spring, then broke into a two-hour scrimmage before an estimated 3,000 fans following the scrimmage. Warriors held a two-hour autograph and photo session. The entire day's events were free to the public. This marked is the first time the UH football team has returned to Maui since opening the 2001 season against Montana at War Memorial Stadium. Warriors are expected back on Oahu tonight and will return to practice on Monday. Camp concludes on April 25th with the second annual Warrior Bowl at Aloha Stadium. Saturday, for the first time since 2001, the UH football team suited up on Maui. And while most of the potential starters set out the full contact scrimmage, the up-and-comers kept it action-packed. Part of the inspiration could have come from the nearly 2,000 fans in the stands at a War Memorial Stadium. Coach Greg McMacken had his squad doing an hour of position drills before going through another hour of scripted plays. Third string QB, Shane Austin, first pass right on target. The 40-yard pass landing right in the hands of transfer Rodney Bailey, the six-foot junior, all over that one. The follow-up play went just as smooth. Austin, this time handing it off to Inoki Funaki and the Kuhuku grad, appearing to be doing just fine as he tests out the running back position this spring. Funaki in for the first score of the scrimmage. Second string QB Brent Rausch with a souvenir for Maui Kenny Estes. Maui boy Kenny Estes. Or Maui's <laughs> on Maui for Kenny Estes. I got that one going on. <laughs> the Waimea high grad going to make the grab for the pick. Worth noting there was a good amount of contact. Coach Mack said that was by design too to get the backups up to speed. What does it mean to allow these guys to get some hitting in, even during the spring? Well, it puts them in game situations, and we get to find out what DBs can not only cover, but who can tackle, who catches the ball under pressure, who plays under pressure. It's game-like simulation. Maui crowd, I mean, 2,000 strong. It's a good audience. Yeah, yeah. I was actually, I was impressed by the turnout. You know, there's a lot of people, and it almost felt like, like I was saying, it felt like a little game. You know, there's not, there's a lot of people out here. Love the support. Luckily, they're cheering for both sides. Yeah, yeah. I was cheering for both sides, you know. I was cheering for the defense, too. I want to see everybody do good. Well, for the first time in eight years, the Warrior football team traveled to Maui for a team scrimmage. More than 3,000 fans got an up-close look at the 2009 squad. After an hour of practice time, the team faced each other in a controlled scrimmage. Inoke Funaki looked impressive at his new position of running back as he scored a touchdown in the scrimmage. Senior running back and Maui native Jason Rago got the biggest cheer from fans. Rago scored a touchdown, but it was called back because of a holding penalty. Nonetheless, the Warriors senior enjoyed playing up front of, in front of family and friends. Um, feels great. I mean, I haven't been home in a long time, so you know, it feels really great to be home, to play in front of the people I played in front of when I was little. So it's, it's an amazing feeling. I just thought it was a well-rounded scrimmage and a very competitive situation, and I think the fans had a lot to do with that. Now, after the scrimmage, the team held a two-hour autograph session for fans. The team will hold another special event next Saturday with the second annual Coaches Clinic on the UH campus. The Warrior football team hit its midway point for spring practice. Today's seventh out of 15th scheduled was taken to Maui. The Warriors getting a chance to hit the field at War Memorial Stadium for a mid-morning workout. It's the first time the Warriors have been on the neighbor islands in eight years when they played Montana at War Memorial in a regular season game in 2001. Now, after an hour of practice today, the Warriors entertained the crowd of about 3,000 with a controlled intra-squad scrimmage highlighted by hits and a couple of touchdowns. Coach McMacken says he's happy with the way t the team performed on Maui. Well, Jim Donovan did a great job of setting this up and Terry Chang and and uh, and then it's great to see such a great turnout because uh, we play for for Hawaii and all the islands are the state of Hawaii so we just wanted to come over and make sure that we were visible to the to the people here and and our coaches were visible to them and that they matter to us Warriors are at home for the final two weeks of spring camp. The staff will host another special event next Saturday, April 18th, with the second annual Coaches Clinic on the Manoa campus, and then the grand finale, second annual Warrior Bowl. That's going to be held at Aloha Stadium on the 25th.